Hello, so here we are, we're at uh, Inverness Airport, which is some not quite nice uh, scenery airport, this one. And uh, there's Big Bertha, my van look, parked up over there. And somehow Bertha's got to get herself down to uh, the Isle of Man Airport, which we're flying down to in a bit. This is the uh, A2A Simulations uh, Piper Cherokee. Let me put the yokes back in for you so you can see the, the cabin in all its glory. Um, it's probably the best simulated aircraft on Microsoft Flight Sim at the moment. Really is good. It's so accurate, it's unbelievable. Um, you have to fly it as close as to the real thing. Um, I can show you on this tab here that uh, let me you have to set all things up like your payload. There's maintenance you have to do. Oh, we've got a problem with the rudder. Oh, I never checked that. Rudder linkage is shot. Oh, we better get that fixed. If only it was like that in the real world. That shows the engine. You can inspect that. Usually do this pre flight, but I've been a bit naughty. I haven't done it. That's showing you the condition of the engine while it's running. And there's the electrical system charging the battery and running the uh, stuff in the cockpit as well. So there you go. And you've got flight info here. Uh, looks like our passengers were a little bit cold at 13 degrees. So what we can do is go down to here. Let's close the vent a bit. Come on, you can do it. There we go. And we'll put a bit of cabin heat on. Then if we go back up here, you see the little red arrow there now? Which is the temperatures climbing. You gotta you gotta watch that through the flight because you start to cook them. <laughs> Cooked passengers aren't happy passengers. So yeah, there you go. We're all running. Um did I do the set my barometric pressure just running her up at the moment letting the temperatures build up um, fuel pressure is okay amps are okay all pressures in the green got plenty of fuel at the moment and the oil temperature warming up nicely and it's in the green so there you go um, what we can do now I'll preset the autopilot it's a strange autopilot actually on this. Um, don't need that one. We'll put the strobes on and we'll put the nav lights on, fuel pumps off. In that it's not a, your standard kind of autopilot, it works all on this gauge. Um, by selecting different things, you get to fly straight and level, um, follow a path, which we'll see on here. Um, or you, you have to climb and descend and then get it basically to hold the flight level that, that you want to fly at. So yeah, lovely plane this though, I really like it. Since uh, since I got it, it's the one I fly mostly because it is so accurate to the real thing. Really nice. Anyway, I'll, I'll end this video for now and I might do a bit more once we're uh, taking off.